Hello and welcome to the highlights of the fourth set of the title clash of the Magnus Carlsen Chess Tour Finals. The world's richest online tournament offering a prize money of 300,000 US dollars is just turning out to be worthy of all the hype, all the attention from those watching and of course the two players are fighting it out tooth and nail. So far, four sets are over and the score stands at 2-2 after Magnus Carlsen won the fourth to level the match for the second time. Magnus Carlsen, who of course was expected to uh, do very well uh, in this uh, particular uh, clash against Nakamura, uh, has so far struggled and yesterday for once he admitted that he has got he has no rhythm whatsoever. He couldn't find that in the first four sets. And then he said that, okay, I'm not happy with my game, but yesterday that was set for was better. Uh, he said that things got his way. And to be fair, well, he should have won and could have won the first three games. And uh, the fourth one where uh, Nakamura just had to win in order to make it 2-2, uh, uh, Carlson was never in any danger of losing. So that's the kind of uh, cushion and that's the kind of comfort level that uh, Carlsen enjoyed in set four. Nakamura for once uh, couldn't get those advantages which he has got in the past that is out of the opening. Uh, he's normally uh, more comfortable. Uh, the kind of positions that he has been getting into the, into the middle game that he couldn't get. And uh, Magnus Carlsen was the one who had the better of the exchanges yesterday and it was only worthy of that kind of result because the whole clash was dominated by one person. Uh, it wasn't Nakamura's day at all, though in the first game uh, he did display what, what sort of a uh, player he is when it comes to defending positions and he escaped with a draw uh, by finding a series of accurate moves and uh, Carlson couldn't do anything about it. He, he had a winning line missed it but uh, credit to Nakamura for getting out of uh, the grip that Magnus Carlsen had in that game. Now when it came to game two obviously uh, Carlsen was disappointed by the result of game one happily took a draw and then as he said he needed a bit of time to get over that because he didn't want uh, uh, Nakamura to kick him when he was down so he said uh, he was okay with that, uh, uh, with a quick draw in the second and uh, that took the game into the third one with the players still locked one and one. This time Magnus Carlsen didn't let uh, Nakamura off the hook. He had a good position, saw the line and at one time, as he said later, that uh, he thought that probably he had missed a winning line but uh, First, what appeared to be a trick from Nakamura, it wasn't actually there. Uh, then Carlsen just saw those lines, checked it a second time and just went on to win. So it was a very comprehensive win in Game 3. Game 4 was all about uh, Magnus Carlsen just holding on to that position. Nakamura was just not in that game. He, 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 he needed to win that one, but Carlsen was just too solid. It wasn't... Uh, Nakamura's day at all. He didn't get any opportunities and uh, Carlsen got the kind of win that he wanted. Probably his uh, best day at work uh, in the final because he didn't offer any chances to um, his rival. As he very rightly said, he said today was better though he won two and a half, one and a half. He says as compared to his previous victory, this was better because he didn't allow his opponent many county chances. So that was that. Carlsen winning two and a half, one and a half. The match stands tied at 2-2 two, two in this best of seven. But effectively, it has now become a best of three. If you just knock out these four, four uh, sets, which has kept the players at 2-2, two, two, from now on, it's just a best of three. And everybody's familiar with this because in the previous tournaments, that's what they used to have uh, in the league and in the semifinals and all. So that is how it is. So it is going to be now a best of three. Consider it as a best of three. Magnus Carlsen 
admitted that his time management is not okay. He is pretty unhappy with his game, and obviously, for the for the score to be two two after four, it was quite obvious that Magnus Carlsen had to play below his usual strength or his level uh, for any any of his rivals to catch up, and that is what he admitted. He said, "I'm not happy with the way I'm playing," and um, he, but he gave a lot of credit to uh, his rival. He said. Uh, Nakamura is making things difficult for him. He's making him think. He's burning a lot of time. Normally, you don't see uh, uh, Carlson burning a lot of time during the opening, but he has. He has been struggling to find the right moves. And for all this, he gave a lot of credit to his rival. Now, this is the best part about these two. Uh, Post match, when they talk about each other, you can you can just sense that mutual respect. And Carlson again um, said that. There have been times when I think that I am winning, but Nakamura manages to come up with a series of good moves, makes me think, and that position I cannot make a move in a hurry because that could end up in a defeat for me. So he's quite clear that Nakamura is not just allowing him to just race away with a win or whatever. Even when Nakamura is down, he's making things very difficult for Carlson. So that is one of the features of the of this particular final so far. Now, how Carlson can manage this? Because from here on, uh, you don't have uh, much room for a comeback. Because anyone winning the fifth uh, set will definitely have a huge edge because that leaves the opponent to win two out of two. So nobody would like to be in that kind of a situation. Everybody needs a bit of cushion. So today's uh, set becomes very, very crucial. So let's hope that Magnus Carlsen and Nakamura, they get their act right. Anyway, there will only be one winner in set five. And whosoever wins will definitely get a huge psychological advantage. So, so far, there's very little to choose between the two. You have a struggling Magnus Carlsen who is now getting uh, a sense of things. Uh, coming his way because yesterday was completely his day and uh, as we all know that Magnus Carlsen is a, is, a, is a person hard to please his own results uh, maybe a win or a loss or even a draw if he's not happy with the quality of his game irrespective of uh, where he is in the match uh, he's not happy and an unhappy Magnus Carlsen means he's going to try to get better and that is what is going to be a problem for Nakamura because for Nakamura to win Magnus Carlsen just has to come down from the level where he normally plays and Nakamura has to keep his level right up there he can't afford to slack even for a minute so a lot of good moments ahead and with the match tied at 2-2 let's look at the best of three coming up over the next three days I'll be back with more tomorrow thank you for watching